Well, good morning, beloved. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. Amen. It's Monday morning. We've had the Thanksgiving weekend. God did amazing things. Uh, the St. John Primitive Baptist Church, once again, were part of an effort to feed thousands throughout the uh, city of Los Angeles, the county of San Bernardino. And I just want to say to God be the glory. I thank God for Pastor Joe Brown, his lovely wife, Sister Gwen Brown, and the Faith in Christ Ministries Church. Um, God is blessing you to do mighty things. Uh, to the members of St. John, thank you for coming out and serving. And y'all, I got to eat some chitterlings on Thanksgiving. And for that, I am thankful. So again, I just give God the glory. Uh, Friday was adventurous. It was. Uh, I thank God for the day. Uh, Saturday was adventurous. I thank God for the day. And I say adventurous because there were different things that I had to do. Uh, but towards the evening, things became adventurous. And then I thank God for his grace and for his mercy. And last night, everything all came together. So I just give God the glory and I'm thankful to God for another week. Um, we are in that season of thanks. We are soon to go into that Yuletide season. And I really wanted to wear one of my Christmas sweaters on today, um, but I didn't. So, you know, but again, I give God the glory. Uh, I'm here at work, so I'm going to get off this phone in a little while. I'm going to go in and render unto Caesar uh, those things which do belong to Caesar. Uh, and then this evening, Lord willing, I'll be at the Chino Men's Prison. And so I just give God the glory for the doors that he's opening. And we do serve a great and a mighty God. So um, one of my friends on Facebook had posted a declaration and it was actually Ephesians chapter three and verse 20. And I'm like, hey, I was born 320, you know, and I've always enjoyed that uh, scripture. And so I just want to leave that with you all and just believe and know uh without a doubt that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. We serve a mighty God, beloved, and it's a good day. And I say that in my ice cube voice today, it is a good day. I, I'm determined to make it a good day. Uh, I'm three weeks, three days out, I think, from the one year date of um, my husband, Elder John Roberts, um, passing, transitioning from earth to glory. And I chuckle because a friend of mine, she says, well, don't look at it like he's dead. He just transitioned. He just went on ahead of front of, uh, front of, uh, ahead of you. You know, you're going to be all right. Yeah, I know I'm going to be all right, but I still feel the way I feel, right? But you ought not feel like that. And then she was going on and on and on and on and on and on and on on how I should feel. And then I was like, yeah, but you telling me all this stuff and you laying there in bed next to your husband. And uh, I'm glad we were on the phone because that way she didn't see me roll my eyes. But she's spiritual. So I'm sure she knew I rolled my eyes at her. But nevertheless, this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. So I'm going to get out of this car. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which belong to Caesar. Hey, I forgot to say it. Good morning. This is your girl Sharon from my front seat. I'm tripping today, y'all. All right. I love you. God bless you. I got to get in. I'm out. Peace. God bless you.